So done. We're in the kitchen today. Uh huh. We have officially moved out of the bathroom. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> the kitchen is kind of right in the middle of the place right here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to be progressing the kitchen today. Yeah. We're going to be working on two fronts. Dan, you're going to be tiling, mm -hmm. right? And I'm going to be priming, which explains why I've got my best <laughs> fainting dress on. Sunday best. Sunday best. Well, it is Friday today. Friday best. Is it maybe? Friday? It is Friday. Is it? Oh, yeah. Friday. <laughs> it <was> Saturday. <laughs> oh, well. We can't lose notion of time. Yeah. I mean, for us right now, there's only one day that it's important, and it's the day that we're in. <laughs> That's pretty much that. Huh? That's it. Yeah. So then, we're progressing our kitchen. Yeah. In fact, we kind of secretly have a mission to try to finish the kitchen for under 150 euros. Yeah. Try to progress it as much as possible with all the material that we have here and try to get creative again with the stuff that we don't have. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly the stuff we don't have. Huh? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get creative. Yeah. That's that. So, kitchen week then. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm really happy with how it's turning out, I have to say, like, just not seeing the pine, just the exposed pine, and with the wood filler on there, it's, it's a big, big relief. We've been having this in the face for far too long, and it was reaching a point where we're just like, oh, okay, is this ever gonna get done? Wow, finally, we're doing it, so that's really good. Just 
some of you guys will wonder, why are we painting with a brush instead of a roller? Because of course, with a brush, it takes a bit longer. The reality of it is that it's actually recommended to always paint wood with a brush. But beyond that, Dan and I really like the like the paintbrush stroke that we'll see with the primer and then the green once everything is done. It's going to look a bit less commercial in our opinion. And that's really the look that we're looking for, like rustic, old, vintagey. A bit like my dress. <laughs> Well guys, you have both heard Dan and I talking about how annoyed we were with the bathroom kitchen combo. And the setup that we have right here is more or less the same thing that we had in the bathroom, in the place where we'll have our laundry room at some point. Uh, today I thought I'd show you just, like, because you guys, some of you have been wanting to like see more of the house, how we cook and all of that. It's not very glamorous. And we've been a bit hesitant to show this, but now that end is in sight, and hopefully by the time you'll see this, we'll be in our real kitchen. So it's going to be a bit less embarrassing, but um, I'm going to be preparing a very, very simple meal, um, burrito pizza, and you will perhaps understand why the bathroom kitchen combo, we had it up to there really up to there, <laughs> but you know, the end is in sight and let's get cooking. So we don't really have a counter, so I have the joy of creating a counter with a chopping board on the stove. And when it comes to finding the spices, everything is in that basket. So, looking for some oregano. Found it, lucky. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. I? I found it. I got oregano, basil, fennel seed. garlic now today I'm fairly lucky because there's that little old shelf the module that I just painted that I can use as an extra shelf but usually everything is all piled up up there
Now, normally we'd have a real pizza, but because we don't have an oven, everything is done in the frying pan. This is the joy of the bathroom kitchen combo. Now, normally all of this is done in pitch black because our solar light in the bathroom well, it doesn't always work. So what I usually have is just a very small USB light if it's charged. If it's not charged, I've grown pretty good at cooking in the dark. Pizza burrito. <laughs> now at this point, a normal person would put the onion and the, like, the cheese in a fridge, but we're very lucky. We have a cooler instead. <laughs> Oh. All right. Now this is always the challenging part. When you have another pizza, a plate, and something in the frying pan, you have to play a little uh, juggler there. Always. That's the fun part. And the great thing about this camping stove, it must be said, the amount of time a frying pan can fall just off the camping stove, pretty impressive. <laughs> there you go, my love, dinner is served. When it comes to our kitchen table, <laughs> Well, our kitchen table is the sofa and also two plastic toad on top of each other. It's the building blocks of all furniture. <laughs> it is the building blocks of all furniture here. Voila. And this is where we do the dishes and the laundry. So this is a sink and a washing machine. And before, the bathroom kitchen combo was just right there. But now we have tools.
We woke up to snow this morning. It's snowing. So I'm a bit worried about my onion seedling, which are in the greenhouse. I think at this point, I'm pretty sure the experiment would have failed. But still, worth a try. Because you guys know that like we simply don't have the space in the house to keep the seedlings. I can always uh, get a head start on our crop by putting onion bulbs in the ground. But let's get the chickens out. It's so beautiful when it's snowing here. I love our land. You ready to get out? Very good morning. Very good morning. Come on. Go out on the porch. Last wall to do. Last wall. In the kitchen, and now we have the in the laundry room to do later on. But the bedroom. Yes, last wall, baby. You get the kitchen all to yourself today. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. I love these tiles. Well guys, the tiling is done. We've got the primer on. Yeah. Ah, oh, it feels so good. We're getting one step closer from really setting ourselves up in the kitchen. Now today is Saturday, tomorrow is our rest day. Monday we are going shopping for a faucet mm -hmm. and for the green paint, which means that next week we're in the kitchen again, right? Yeah. 
Thank you so very much for watching. We really hope that you like the kitchen as much as we do so far. Mm. And uh, have a good rest of the week. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. See you next Sunday. See you. Ciao, Bye. ciao.